Here's a little Uncle Ted. Culinary tech tip. Some debris. I actually salt and pepper the uh, the oil. I'm going to put the, gar the gurgling garlic in first. Now, I've already washed off this white potato, and I'm going to slice it into little shards and shrapnels. The right size will allow it to absorb some of that delicious oil and the garlic. Put that in there. And then always onion. Now, I usually have a nice, sweet white onion. But this is so simple. Then we get the onions going. I, I, you know, can you really have a meal without onions? Carrots take a little longer to cook, too, so we'll get those going. A little bit of seasoning like that. I always season the meat before I put it to the fire. And what's good in an iron skillet is even better in uh, over natural wood coals out on the grill. But that's gurgling right now. And look how pretty it is. It's already got nice color to it. Just like the sacred animals, the uh, vegetables and stuff have to be as organic and natural and clean as possible. Got some salary, because I really, really like salary. I try not to compromise my rock and roll 10 digits of dew. Then I put the meat on top. Then I put the, add the seasonings once again for when I flip it over. I gotta tell you, this is so simple. So what I do, I get this going when I get in from my afternoon hunt. And then uh, while I'm taking a shower and getting cleaned up, because God knows I need to, I uh, let this cook. Come in here, might pour myself a little glass of red wine. And if you don't have a walk-in cooler, if you just have a refrigerator at home, just go ahead and quarter that meat up or bone that meat out. Take your buck knife and debone all that meat. And I'm going to tell you, this is just a chunk of rump. This is just a chunk of a black buck rump. This has been aged for over a week. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty. Got a little uh, singe going on there. How pretty is that? So I, I didn't know what it was, but somebody gave me this, and I like the word nong. And I just put a little bit of that on the plate. Some good old ketchup, because when you have the singed potatoes, ketchup is wonderful. People that are against ketchup, get over it. All right, here we go. Now watch how beautiful this is. Are you kidding me? You tell me you wouldn't want to eat with me. Look at that. That, my friends, is the gonzo pure protein gift meal of venison. All right, here's the moment of truth. Get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. And you know the rump off a of black buck, you're typically not real tender, but if you age them, yes. look at that. Spectacular. Look at the vegetables are just cooked just right. Now you know why my spirit remains caught, locked, and ready to rock, Doc. The beast is dead. Long live the mighty beast. Fortifies my spirit and my belly and cleanses my soul. This, my friends, is superfood for a super sacred temple that's a super gift from God. This is the gift. This is the gift. And we call it the spirit of the wild. Now leave me alone while I chow down like an animal. This segment of Ted Nugent's Spirit of the Wild is brought to you by Tell